Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Letters Tarot and to your weekly tarot reading. If you're new here, also a very warm welcome to my channel. I focus on messages of awakening, soul ascension and aligning you to your true purpose. In fact, recently I just finished a series of reading around destiny, karma and life purpose. So I will put the playlist up here for you guys as well. Uh, just so that you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. All the links that you need are below the video, including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading for yourself. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on your way out. I would be forever grateful for that, it really helps me out. I'd just like to wish you a week full of love and magic and without further ado, let's head to your weekly tarot reading. Hi there Sagittarius, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly tarot reading for April 26th through to May the 2nd. Saji, let's take a look and see what might be on the cards for you. Getting started here as per usual with the Work Your Light Oracle. I will then be going to the Moon Child Tarot for a lead tarot energy and then using the classic Rider Waite Smith and the Star Child Tarot Akashic for your tarot positions. Okay, let's see what we've got. We have got Starseed. What lights you up? So Saji, you know, there's a couple of things going on here. This is about deeper callings. What really makes you feel excited, lit up from the inside, that you're on purpose? What is truly in alignment for you in terms of your career, the kind of relationship you want, maybe the kind of place that you are wanting to live in? And what steps can you do to start moving towards that? A place to look can be beginning to move away from what, doesn't feel right if we're not entirely sure what that calling is yet but we just feel it within us and some of you might be awakening to the fact that you are a starseed and as the concept goes guys it's it's about the fact that you may have had incarnations in other galaxies and you've come here in you know down to earth in this time to help with this big consciousness shift that we have got going on here from the 3d to the 5d consciousness and I've got play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Well, you are a Sagittarius, you're fun and playful and friendly. But sometimes life just happens, right? And we can get caught up in the stress, the tension, you know, the drama and the stories. So it's saying just to maybe this week lighten up a little bit and celebrate the small wins. Celebrate where you've come from. Sometimes we get caught up in, I've got so far to go, or I'm not meeting my goals, but... If you look back and see where you've come from, you might realize that you're actually closer than what you think. Okay, we get the lead tarot energy out for you Pisces. I'm going to take that one, which is the moon. It happened. I just called you Pisces because the moon came out. Sorry, Saji, but we have the Piscean major arcana, the moon. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces. Now, this is an interesting energy. It asks you to follow your intuition, especially what you might be feeling um, in the subconscious, what might be coming through and dreams and visions and that sort of thing, because maybe there are um, clues to your calling within that. The moon can be a card of secrets or mysteries revealed. So you might be learning something about a person or a situation this week. Could be a truth exposed true colors exposed so yeah maybe something like that could be revealed to you it can also be an energy of um where our thoughts and mental energy starts turning into the paranoia or anxiety so it is a message just to be mindful of your mental health and just make sure that you're taking your time out and you're coming back to heart energy and being in the body rather than being in the mind too much it's also a card of hidden blessings. So you might be navigating something in your life at the moment that could feel challenging, yet there's a hidden blessing in it for you. And sometimes we don't really know until we look back with hindsight. Okay, Saji. Let's go to the energy of the recent past. Energies leaving, completing or transitioning. What has brought you to this now moment? If this is your reading, the star, <laughs> yes, 
you've got to look at where you've come from guys I think you've come from a town moment you're going through changes and fresh new starts let's go for the current focus energy please for Sagittarius the Hermit Virgo energy in the major arcana number nine the star is Aquarian energy let's get the outcome yes victory six of wands and guess who's still at the bottom of the deck the fool so there really is a victorious new beginning for you here Saggy. feel like some of you are in the uh, emotional processing phase we have got the other death card scorpio energy they're called transformation in this deck so we've got a lot of major arcana here four from five Clarifying the Hermit, I have got the Nine of Pentacles, double nines there. Clarifying the Six of Wands, I've got Strength card. Well, that is so many major arcana, guys, and that is the Leo energy. Hierophant at the bottom of the energy, at the deck, sorry, is um, Taurian energy. So you've got lots of signs, lots of major arcana. Generally, um, the major arcana, like the more of them there are in a reading, the more significant the more sort of life-changing and the minor arcana or the kind of the daily how and why that's kind of playing out so each of the major arcana are about big life lessons and themes so you're obviously um, going through a really big kind of karmic cycle here Saji is what I'm really seeing and I'm seeing you coming back to self and coming back to balance and re-emerging um, in a rebirth towards a fresh new start after potentially your life came crumbling down is what I'm really seeing here so three major arcana to start off with the star the transformation card and hierophant so that's the death card guys all right well the the star energy follows on from the tower and the major arcana which is why I've been mentioning the tower energy it's kind of the the calm after the storm the healing and the rebalancing the emotional processing card the hierophant is about uh, tradition and it can be about traditional relationship long-term marriage commitment it can be about following a traditional path through university career um, you know meeting societal expectations and things like that so I feel like some of you have gone through either a massive revelation in one of those areas hey this isn't a fit for me I want to do things differently or you've had some kind of ending be it at your own hand or the other person's with the death card here we've had a release a purge a some kind of um big kind of slate clearing is what i'm hearing however remember when i talked about hidden blessings with the moon card with the cards here that is absolutely so for a start the hierophant talks about challenging tradition so that you can awaken to your truth and your values and align your life with them the Hierophant is this kind of awakening that we go through at some point in adult, adulthood where we realize that the patterns and the values um, and the expectations handed down by us to us by society or parents or whatever it may be uh, might not be the best fit for us and we really um, begin to be strongly called towards living our truth. They call it the midlife crisis. It can happen at any time. It doesn't have to be at that period of life. It just does happen at that time for a lot of people. So that's what I'm seeing here. You're kind of going through that re-evaluation and wanting to, to live in alignment with your values. And sometimes we get to a point in our life where we start to fall out with people. Things start to feel very tough. There starts to be a lot of resistance in our lives. And that be, can be because those values are bubbling up from the subconscious um, you know calling you to to move in alignment with them but we kind of go through this really awkward period of life where uh, we know we don't feel like we fit people are falling away uh, the job that we've always been successful at maybe we we either lose interest or it becomes more challenging and it's all a calling to say wake up you know start moving towards your truth star seed what lights you up this is a number five it's the point of change between the one and the ten meaning such it is the decisions that you make in this now moment that are going to determine what 10 you get to so let's make it the 10 of pentacles or the 10 of cups because the star says that you are moving in the direction of your divine wish fulfillment should you 
step into this vulnerability and go through this rebirthing process that you are. It's time to follow the light towards the new beginning here and surrender to the change and the unfolding that is going on around you. So Saggy, look at this, double nines in your focus energy, nine of pentacles and the hermit. So even though we're kind of coming out of, I always see coming out of the chamber here that there could have been some you know, depression, anxiety or stress or tension associated with that ending in that tower moment. Um, I do see you going through a hermit phase, which it doesn't have to be, it's not necessarily, it's not depression or anything like that, but it is a turn inwards in order to reflect, seek and understand kind of what you've gone through. Because I feel like your life is about to dramatically change and you're kind of in this aftermath situation. So the hermit goes within to seek your own counsel to listen to your own intuition, to find the way forward. And at the moment, you might have this real sense of being in the darkness without much more than a small lantern. But the more you seek and reflect and understand, and gain that hindsight, the more the star energy burns brighter and becomes your guiding light. And just know that you are being guided but sometimes we need to go through that darkness and go through the lessons and those soul understandings and evolutions in order to get to our next calling in life. But this is a metamorphosis. This is a rebirth, Saggy. I mean, the nine of pentacles for me is that butterfly emerging energy and the hermit energy is the cocooning or the chrysalis stage. So you have this perfect segue. And for some of you, this could go on for nine days. It could go on for nine months. You know, I know this is a weekly reading, but it's about picking up on the energy in, in the moment and it can take a lot longer to, to unfold and process that energy. But ultimately, the Nine of Pentacles, is, which is how you're emerging from this life change, which is your hidden blessing, is independent, self-sufficient, not needing for anyone or anything else to bring you your success you are going to be on your game with your achievements. It's a big personal level up. Somebody who can look after themselves, who can potentially go out there and, and, and work on their own as well. It's a solo energy. Both of these are very much solo energy. So is the full. But you are highly successful and powerful and magnetic in that. So it could just be for a short period of time. The Nine of Pentacles is, is of course, just one card away from the Ten of Pentacles, which is finding that solid security again, maybe a sense of family and really rebuilding a strong foundation for the one that you might have had to, to release or give up. The next time you do it, create the sense of, home, sense of home, work, relationship, whatever it is for you, the next time you do it, it's going to be stable. It's not going to be a house of cards. It's not going to be a tower or on a shaky foundation or, you know, a tower built on sand, but it will be made to last. So in the outcome here, Sag, I've got the Fool. I've got the Six of Wands and the Strength card. Oh, yeah. So, you know, there's so much victory here for you, Sag. I mean, the Six of Wands talks about someone who's riding out of that darker time with their head held high and a newfound sense of self-esteem and confidence. Yeah, you're going to need the strength and courage, the determination and the resilience in this period of your life. But I have no doubt that you have got this and that you can, you know, you can access that, that wisdom within yourself, listen to your higher self, keep any beasts within like the overthinking, overanalyzing, the voices that say you can't do it, you you know, maybe you should go back to the old situation. We must keep that under control so that we can really hear our inner wisdom. But the real victory here, Sagittarius, is the new path that's unfolding, the strong new beginning. The Fool is the biggest card of fresh new starts in the tarot. At number zero, it slots in anywhere in your life because it doesn't matter what age or stage of your life you are in, no matter how stable you thought things are, we can find ourselves at a clear slate needing to start over. So the Fool is about trusting the new path, beginning to walk it anyway, beginning to walk in the direction that that light throws. And maybe we can only take a couple of steps 
at each time but slowly but surely the path forward unfolds and there's a sense here of not um that spirit doesn't want you to know the destination at the moment it just wants you to 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 focus on the one foot in front of each other walking out of where you are and then you know later on all will be revealed in that direct yeah that's the, that thing that might be what is going to be revealed to you the path forward but at the moment it's just trusting your instincts and slowly moving forward in the direction of your truth in the direction of your rebel heart that's what the fool does as guided by spirit and by source you're moving in the direction of your passions your desires your purpose and starseed what lights you up Okay, so I do well. I'm going to leave it there and I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective, so it may or may not resonate for you. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share, guys. I read them all and try to respond to you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what's happening out there in the collective themes. Has been a pleasure to read your card, Saji. I will see you back here for another one very soon. Bye for now.